Main City Roller Derby is one of two of Scotland's co-ed leagues, where men and women play together. We went behind the scenes at one of their practices to find out everything you need to know about this fast-growing sport. But first, what is roller derby? Roller derby is basically a game that's played by two teams. Each team can have five players on track at any one time, four blockers and one scorer uh, who is a jammer. Everyone's on skates, everyone's got pads, full pads, wrists, elbows, knees, helmets. Um, it's full contact but there are specific rules, you can't punch, you can't kick. But the idea is to try and for the jammer, the scorer, to get through the pack and then start lapping opposition players. For each one of them they lap, they get a point. The action's broken up into jams. You normally get about 40 jams per game, there's two halves. You get 20 jams normally per half. And it's all action, it's high octane, it's thrilling, there's loads of spills, there's lots of stuff for all ages and um, it's just a fantastic sport. Alan used to work as a sports journalist and explains why, despite its growing popularity, roller derby doesn't get that much media attention. Yeah, the problem is, and I've spoke to sports desks about it, is trying to get them to understand. Number one, they think it's rollerball. So they can't understand there's no ball. They don't understand. They think, and well, where's the sporting aspect of it? And if you could actually get them to come and watch it, I think they would see the sporting aspect of it. But unfortunately, it's very much in this country, it's football. Then you get a bit of rugby, and then there's everything else. And right now, we're kind of lumped in with everything else, and it's almost, if people have heard about it, they think it's basically a bunch of maniacs beating each other up on wheels, and it's just not like that at all. Uh, so it is trying to break through those preconceptions. I hope there is a bit more mainstream. <laughs> I hope there is a bit more mainstream. <laughs> Community and friendships are a big part of roller derby, and people who wouldn't necessarily take part in more traditional sports, they seem to fall in love with it. It's somewhere I fit in, it's somewhere I, I really enjoy coming to, I, I make my training all the time, um, everything's really nice, I've made loads of good friends and I quite like the team aspect, we've got quite a good team together. So. A family, out with my normal family. Everyone in the team genuinely cares, like if I've had a bad knee before come to training, they say things, they know what's going to be happening, so they say, take it easy on this, you might hurt yourself and things. People that genuinely care, because they want you to be fit for the team, rather than you injure yourself and then you're out. Roller derby is different to many mainstream sports, like football, because it's dominated by women, and men's leagues and co-ed leagues are in the minority. One of the, one of the things that attracted me to roller derby was the fact that, uh, unlike many sports, it's actually led by women. So there was an inclusiveness there that it's not this kind of almost like it's a magical world where everyone's trying to outdo each other. And I think sports could learn from that because although you do you, you do get women's football and there women's it's almost like an add-on to the sport, whereas this way is women are actually in charge of the sport are, are central to it and they always will be as far as I'm concerned. Go ahead is future. It's it's historically it's a women's sport. Um, there's quite a lot of feminist undertones and such in, in the sport. Um, but I, I, I started off just playing women's only and then co-ed started to appear a bit more in Scotland and I got involved. Um, I helped out with the Power of Scotland, which is the men's national team last year. I was their fan liaison and, and things like that. Um, and I've just got more and more heavily involved with the men's side. Um, and personally I enjoy hitting over big boys. Um, there's a lot of things girls do differently to guys. Guys wear a lot about the big hits and the flamboyant play style. The girls were a lot more about control and smooth play. And now we're seeing a lot of that coming over to men's derby as well. So the, the impact of the wedge is really helping us. The female dominance of the sport has led to many misconceptions about it, but it does have a strong sense of individuality that makes it stand out. Fishnet tights and tutus and face paint, there, there is an element of that and I think the theatricality of it is still exists, with it, the, the very fact that you get to pick your own derby name, so when you pass your minimum skills you, you get to take on a, a new name almost, uh, a new persona. Um, and that that is still part of the sort of theatrics of it, but it is it's not like Whip It. If you've watched the film Whip It with Drew Barrymore, it's it's not that. There's no punching. There's no head butting people and, and all that kind of a thing. It's it's a very prescribed sport with with rules. Everyone we spoke to had a deep love of the sport. So how would they describe it in one word? Awesome. Challenging. Awesome. Mental. Awesome. 
roller derby is on the rise, and mainstream sports could learn from how inclusive it is for both men and women. It certainly seems to work, so could co-ed sports be the future? I guess we'll have to wait and see. I'm Abby Garten from Mixer.